This is a featured youth boxing exhibition. Introducing first in the blue corner, give me Nicholas uh, Kamiski. and his opponent, Giovanni Gomez. Ladies and gentlemen, I actually misspoke. This will be an exhibition of skill, but this will in fact be a boxing bout sanction. They are within one year of each other, so even minors, this will be a sanctioned fight, not an exhibition. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a 14-year-old boxer representing the Boca Boxing District. He stands five feet, eight inches tall. He is making his amateur boxing debut at 135 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, Nicholas Kamiski. His opponent standing to my left and fighting out of the red corner. He is also making his amateur boxing debut. He is a 15-year-old boxing specialist. Standing at five feet eight, weighing in at 135 pounds, representing beautiful violence. I present to you Giovanni Gomez. And of course, Ray. Oh, by the way, they are they are youth. 90 second rounds. Other than that, we got to fight. Ray Ramos, keep it fair. Here we go with the youngins. Yeah, yeah we've had a couple 18-year-olds on the card. Now they're the old men. I literally got shirts older than both these gentlemen. I got shirts older than half the guys on this card. Round number one underway, 90 seconds with minute rest. But again, not an exhibition. This is a fight. Both men wearing headgear clearly as they are cadets. Wow. Talk yeah. about aggressive. <laughs> yeah. You got... Got nothing to lose. Both guys making their debut. All they can do is put on a show. You will see Kamiski out of the out of the blue corner representing the Boca Boxing District. Beautiful violence out of the red corner for Mr. Giovanni Gomez.
14 and 15 respectively. Both guys under the 135 limit easily. Five foot eight making their debuts. It is a wash. Oh, nice right hand over the top from the Boca Boxing District product. You see Daya Dangerous Davis in the corner there representing the, the Davis Boxing Legacy. The beautiful violence, a more traditional Muay Thai school, but uh, they do have a boxer on their hands here. You thought the two-minute rounds were short. We're coming up on the final yeah, 10 seconds had, of this round. And I, I don't think I've said a word. I'm trying to trying to think I've wrapped my head around the fact that these, these kids aren't old enough to drive. Nope. I get it right here. Oh, beautiful down and up there. Nick coming from is, Kaminsky. Yeah. Kaminsky is aggressive. Yeah. Yeah, and for that body type, training with Daya. And uh, the other people there at Boca Box, they have a few range of fighters there. That's a very good place to learn your craft. And I expect either, either one of these kids to have any problem with their cardio. No. I mean, that, not for lack of output, but yes, I agree. The 90-second rounds, and I know they're well-trained. And um, they're 14 years old. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, again, we're talking about CompuBox. These guys were getting after it. A little more... It's funny, the 14 and 15 year olds are a little more methodical and a little more uh, strategic with their attacks than some of the- uh, I agree. Some of the elder statesmen have been so far tonight, today, this afternoon. Yeah, I, and I think this is what's gonna change combat sports. You're getting kids that have been doing this stuff since they were five years old. Right. When they, they're gonna hit their prime so much earlier. Both corners seem happy with their fighters' uh, first round, as they should be. Round number two underway. Our featured youth boxing event for today. Nice feints by Kaminsky. Mm -hmm. Jab of the body there from <coughs> Gomez. And Gomez, Gomez a little bit, standing a little bit taller. Yes. A little, and, and, and a little leg. Oh, oh, wow. wow. Up, upstairs from Kaminsky. Had some stank on it. Had some smoke. Mm -hmm. Good jab. Nice tight. Nice and tight from Gomez. Yeah, and nice little nice little uh, forward uh, um, volley from Gomez. Just good range from Kamiski to kind of get out of the way of it. Good two, three upstairs. Three didn't land so much for Gomez. Two landed pretty well, though. That's a good shot upstairs. Beautiful violence corner, calling to go up and down. Wow. wow! Another good left hook on the break from Kaminsky, among other things. Another good left hook. Answered with a right hand from Gomez. 10 seconds left. Gomez still stalking now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, not a lot of respect to the punching power. Oh, oh right wow. in. Two rounds in the books. Holy cow. That got tense. What'd you do over your summer vacation? Got in a fight. Got, got in a war on pay-per-view. Guess another stud. Happy to be back in home room. Really nervous about, really nervous about algebra two. <laughs> Those are some fresh kicks. Uh, uh. Man, good work upstairs from Action Kaminsky. And coming, to, coming to counter is Gomez, and Kaminsky just kind of getting the range. They're a little taller fighter. They both marked at the same, at 5'8". Uh, but uh, I think that maybe Kaminsky's a little more 5'8 than Gomez. Could be wrong. A little bit more 5'8". Mm-hmm. Well, look, at, at 15 years old, they might have grown since <laughs> this way in. This way in. <laughs> Probably. Uh, I 14. He's a big one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Round number three underway. These guys, uh, a total combined age, 29. I have, I have shirts older than 29. I'm wearing one right now.
still look good. Ooh, good oh, good jab, nice jab by Gomez. By Gomez. Kaminsky looking to get it back and then some. Nice work by Gomez to get out yeah. of that. That he, Kaminsky hunted him down, got him in a predicament. Gomez fired his way out of it. And that's why I love the strike fest. I love the ring, the ring, the square, the ropes, and the corners. They do a different dynamic than a hard round cage. It just does. Changes, changes the fight, changes the, uh, the dynamic and the paradigm of the sport. Ray Ramos keeping them separate here. Up and down there, that classic uh, pop, pop jab. Uh, I, I say Davis style, but every boxer worth their salt throws like that. Oh, another good power jab from Gomez. And a one-two answered by Kaminsky. Should have a baseball field after that kid. I think it's spelled a little different. Yeah, it is. I don't know. His name was also cut off on my uh, bout sheet. So, but it all ends the same. Polish. Yeah. Speaking of which, shout out uh, Mike Zakowski, wherever he is. Polish power. Boom! And to the last bell. Beautiful fight. Yeah, absolutely. Nicholas Kamiski and Giovanni Gomez is run that back. A little bit of a replay. They still the stalk, get him in the corner. But uh, Gomez fighting out of it. Fight, fought out of it like it, like, again, as you should. You know, fought out of it with, with, with um, uh, where I'm looking for. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, just for emphasis, the total combined age of these combatants is 29 years old. Please put your hands together for the next generation of boxing. After three incredibly impressive rounds, the judges have rendered a decision with the scores of 29-28 for Gomez, 30-27 for Kaminsky, and judge number three scores the bout 29-28 for your winner by a hard fall split decision out of the blue corner, Mr. Nicholas Kaminsky. I'm here with your winner, Nicholas Kaminsky. Now, first things first, representing Boca Boxing District. A lot of guys are taking fights in the cage here and there. What's it like to get inside of an actual ring in front of a hot crowd and make your debut uh, boxing representing your team? Oh, uh, first thing I want to say, thank God, without him. Without him, I want to, I want to be where I'm at today. Uh, uh, I want to thank everybody that came out. Yeah, man, uh, it's great. Um, I spar with great uh, people. You know, uh, Frederick, I know Frederick's in here. I spar with a lot of fighters. Uh, it's just great, you know, I thank my coaches, Daya, Goose, and I appreciate them so much. If I could be very serious here, what's more exciting? Getting your first win as an amateur boxer representing your team or getting your learner's permit next year? Uh, um, you know, Honestly, uh, box is everything to me. You know, without boxing, I want to be uh, where I'm at right now. So, um, yeah, uh, I feel like boxing is more important for sure. He can't even drive himself to the gym yet, but he's still putting in work. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, undefeated, Nicholas Kaminsky.